Occasionally your Adobe color will not link with your Adobe InDesign account, it's sort of the shortcoming of a Creative Cloud. I actually liked the old version of Adobe Color better because you could download your swatches and then load them into InDesign. So if yours is not syncing, I'm going to show you how to use the eyedropper in InDesign to create your color palette. First I'm going to place my picture, so I'm just going to click on this box in the template and go to File, Place. And you'll notice it's way too big for the frame. I'm just going to right click and choose Fitting. Fit content proportionally. You always want to choose a proportionally option so you don't distort the photograph or the image that you're placing. There we go. So now I'm going to get the eyedropper tool. Just close this stuff so it's not in the way. I'm going to click and just pick up that blue color and you'll see nothing really happened. But if I go over here and open my color palette, you'll notice that the color is picked up here with RGB. So I actually want these to be in CMYK, that's print mode. So I'm going to go up here in the menu in the upper right hand corner and just choose CMYK. There we go. And then what I want to do is add this color to my swatches. So I'm going to hit add to swatches. Then I'm going to get my selection tool, select this first square, open my swatches, and I want to make sure that this fill icon is in the foreground, so not the one with the outline, but fill, and if you hover your cursor over it, you'll see fill. I'm going to click on fill to kind of bring it to the foreground. I'm going to scroll down and just choose that blue that I created. I'm just going to continue doing that, so I'm going to get my eyedropper again, click on the diving board. You'll notice it filled because I selected that square, but I do need to go to color, convert that to CMYK, and then go ahead and add it to my swatches. And you'll notice when you add it to your swatches, it kind of rounds the ink percentages, and that's totally fine. I'm going to get my selection tool, click on my third box, go back to my eyedropper, not blue. Again, this is a repetitive process, so I'm going to convert to CMYK, add to swatches, get my selection tool, Last color, I'll try to get some kind of darker color in here, so I'll click on that. Convert to CMYK and add to swatches. So there we go, that's how you do it if you cannot get Adobe Color to sync with your Adobe InDesign. It's not very difficult. The second thing that you're going to do is create an Adobe Swatch Exchange file. These are really useful. Let's say I'm branding and this is my color palette and I want to use it consistently across every tactic I design in InDesign. If I have a swatch file every time I create a new document, I don't have to go through that whole process of creating swatches. I can just load them. So to save your swatches, I'm going to open my swatches palette. You want to click on each one. So I'm going to start here and I want to have them all selected. So I'm just going to hold down my shift key, click on that last one. You'll see all six are selected. Then I'm going to go to my menu and just choose Save Swatches. And then I'm going to call this um, a bigger splash. The name doesn't matter. You can name your last name, put it on my desktop, and hit Save. Okay, so let's see. Let me go ahead and just save this. Example. You'll actually export yours as a PDF. That's how I want you to submit it. But I wanted to save it and close it so that I can show you something. Many people get confused because you'll see my ASE file over here on my desktop. It's kind of strange looking. Students will check it, they'll click on it, and nothing will happen, and they'll be very concerned. Either Illustrator will open or nothing will happen, and they'll say, well, I don't know if my file is working. It's working. You can't just click on it to open it. You actually have to open InDesign. Okay, so you actually have to open InDesign, and then I'm going to go and create a new document. Just hit OK. So you'll notice now in my swatches, those swatches that I created are not there. Well, if I want to use those swatches for my branding for this new tactic I'm creating, rather than creating them all from scratch, all I'm going to do is in the swatches palette, I'm going to click on my menu in the upper right hand corner. I'm going to go to load swatches and then browse for that ASE file. So here it is. 
and you'll notice what happens. My swatches then populate into the swatches panel, and that's the reason that you have an ASC file.